designers tell us over and over again that we need to pull in those natural elements into our home decor. There's the typical branch and fireplace centerpiece, of course, but have you ever considered treating leather as that outdoor decorating influence? From the living room couch to the living room wall, leather adds texture and interest. It also is a great way to break up a photo gallery or a big open wall. Artist Lindsay Muir, uh, excuse me, Lynn Muir here with the website Pocket Full of Paint has three projects to consider. And first, let's talk about why leather and where do we put it? Um, you know, I just I just walked into a leather store one day just to get some ideas for other craft ideas, and I just saw all these gorgeous colors of leather, and I thought that would be pretty on the wall. So why not put it up there, break up, like you said, those gallery walls and. Um, the square frames and add some texture and some organic materials to your home. And now one thing about this is you can kind of get um, the look you're, you're wanting if it's a modern space. What about a more traditional space? Does it work um, in that as well? I think you could, with the different colors that are out there, you could kind of tailor it to your style. It could definitely be rustic, definitely be eclectic, definitely be modern. Um, you just have to kind of go in and figure out what fits in your house and there's so many choices. And we're all looking at different price points for our homes. Yeah. Uh, what's kind of the affordability scale on this? So uh, in the leather stores, there's, there's so many options, but they have different price points and it ranges from some of the ones I've made, like this one behind us, was about $12 to make, maybe a little less. Um, but the less leather you use, obviously it's gonna cost less. The more, the bigger you make it, the one that they showed in my bedroom on the wall, that one's about $180. So you can get them a range from about 10 to 180 or even more, depending on the amount of leather you're using and the quality. Okay, so you've got three great options for us to go through. Um, let's let's start. Okay, so the one with the rings, um, they, you can find these at Joann's or you can find them um, Michael's or at the leather stores. And um, at the leather stores, they're silver. At Joann's, they're gold, just in case you wanna okay. be picky. <laughs> and where do you find them in the store? Because they're a lot near of people... the leather section in Joann's. Um, they're usually used for um, dream catchers or mobile. Mob how do you say that? Mobiles for nursery. <laughs> we're, yep, we're going with that. That's a good. That's okay. a good pronunciation. So what you would do, you would just cut simple strips about an inch thick, however long you want it to be, and then with this awesome leather hole punch, you would punch a hole in the top of your piece and tie it on with some um, small leather string or leather cording. Okay. And that's just a simple way to do that one. Um, and then the other one I want to show you is more like this one right here. This, you know, your leather's gonna come, it's gonna be kind of a funky shape because it's natural and mm -hmm. they cut it off. And one animal. thing about <laughs> adding this leather to your home, what I'm experiencing right now, is you can smell it. Yeah. And I love the smell the big of leather. One, the big one weird, in my house has yes, filled my you get room that with that nice the smell. aroma. Okay. Yeah. Continue so then on. you're going to cut it to your shape. So I have been cutting them to V's. You could cut them all different shapes. Um, you're going to cut it nice and straight with your um, straight edge ruler and your rotary mat and your rotary cutter. And then again, this is you can make it bigger, smaller, yep. whatever you want. You can make it wider. You know, depending on where you need it to fit. You, these are so um, versatile. So you're going to cut it to your shape. Then if you want to, you can paint it. And you, at the leather store, you'll find um, leather paint. Okay, so there is an actual paint. There is an actual for, paint, okay. but I've played around with it and you can also use acrylic paint from the craft store and it's, it oh. does just as well. It doesn't flake off, it's gonna be just fine. So you can do that if you wanna do that. I think they're about the same price, so price isn't really an issue with okay. that, but just if you can't find a leather store or whatever, you can go with the craft paint. And then after your paint is dried, so you just tape down some blue painter's tape, paint it, and then after it's dried, I like to move my tape, a fresh piece of tape up a little bit and then use my straight edge and just cut some fringe at the bottom to give it a little bit more texture. And make sure you have a fresh blade because leather is hard to cut through sometimes. So and just... chew through. <laughs> don't, don't use your teeth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and then you wanna make sure you have some slits at the top for your dowel. Pull off your tape and you have your fringed leather. And you can just get a, pe a dowel, or if you want to make it even fancier, you can use a piece of copper piping from the ho hardware store and just slide your dowel in. And so how could you make this versatile for every room? You, the, the, I think these look darling in kids' rooms, nurseries, living rooms. Obviously, I have that big one in my bedroom. I think just choosing your colors to match whatever your space looks like, um, and it will go anywhere. 
Okay, um, now color schemes, you put the gold with um, this more gray color. Is there a pattern with leather because there, it is that different texture that you need to stick with certain color schemes on it? I don't think so. I think you can go anywhere you want. Gold is just trendy right now, so I thought I would stick some gold on there and make it pop and make it have a little bit of sparkle. Okay, now one thing you're doing as well is you're hosting a Valentine's Day workshop type thing for kids. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that um, where people I am, can sign up. Next week is from 4 to 6 30, 4 30 to 6 30. Tuesday through Friday. I have a kids workshops. Um, I did some this summer and they're a blast. I love getting crafty with kids. So they can sign up in my Etsy store at pocketfullofpaint.etsy.com. And speaking of kids, do you think this is a good project that kids could do with they their parents? They could easily do it the... as long as you monitor them with the rotary cutter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, you need to monitor, <laughs> Wanna keep I think, them safe. a lot of people yes. with the, the yeah, rotary even cutter. Even some adults. Okay. So yeah, it's definitely an easy project anybody can do. You just need pretty much the rotary mat and a rotary cutter and you can get get cracking. Okay, so. and one thing with this one, is this something that could go in a traditional, because that totally changes the look, yeah. or is this more of a modern space piece to um, add this in? It depends what else you have mixed into your home. If you have some metallics mixed into your traditional style, I think you can definitely mix in the copper. Okay, good yep. to know, because yep. that's a, that's a big, definitely that it farm, totally changes the look on that one. The farmhouse could go, copper fits well in the farmhouse style, so. Love yeah. it, thank you, Lynn. Some yeah. great ideas, and again, for every budget just about, you can add that extra piece.